The Buffalo Soldiers. The Buffalo Soldiers. Focus question. What can people learn from studying the history of the Buffalo Soldiers? The new a、uh, uh, new army. Thousands of black soldiers helped the United States gain freedom from Great Britain during the Revolutionary War. More than one hundred seventy thousand black soldiers helped the Northern Union Army win the Civil War in eighteen fifty sixty-five. It wasn't until after this war, however, that black men were allowed to join. Army during times of peace. The first peacetime regiments of black soldiers were created in 1966. Many black men who joined had served in the Union Army. Others were once enslaved people. On the 38th through 41th infant,、oh, infantry regiments and 9th and 10th. Cavalry regiments were the first black regiments forced. The infantry was made of soldiers who fought on foot, while the cavalry cavalry was made of of soldiers who rode on horses. Native peoples of the Great Plains gave these men the name of Buffalo Soldiers. Joining the army after the Civil War, white leaders in the South passed new laws that limited the freedom of black people. These racist laws were known as black codes. They required black people to have a job, but also limited the kinds of jobs they were allowed to have. Black people had to sign work contracts for a very low pay. If they didn't, they were arrested and forced to work for no pay. In eighteen sixty four, the army began paying all soldiers the same, regardless of race. At most jobs, black workers were paid much less than white workers. The army was one of the few options black men had to make a fair wage. As soldiers, they also received food, shelter, and the chance to learn how to read and write if they didn't already know how. Black soldiers faced racism in the army, though most white soldiers didn't think black men should be allowed to serve. Some white officers wouldn't even command black regiments. White people didn't want armed black soldiers near their towns, so almost so most black soldiers were sent to the west. Black women in war, women weren't allowed to join the U.S. Army until 1943. Still. Black women have played an important role in every war in American history. Spies like May,、uh, May, Mary Jane Richards, the Harriet Tubman, passed along valuable information to the Union Army during the Civil War. Tubman also acted as a guide and a scout. She went with Union soldiers during raids on plantations in the in the South, leading hundreds of enslaved people to freedom. Actress Josie. Joseph Hine Baker spied as the Nazis during World War II. She passed along information th- though through secret messages written in invisible invisible ink. Black women have continued to wear a fort as spies, guys, nurses, doctors, and soldiers. Out west, in the one thousand eight hundreds, the U.S. government wanted to expand the country's western border. This led to the case of war between the army and native peoples. Over time, the government, the government forced more and more native peoples of lands they lived on for thousands of years and onto reservations. Reservations were small areas of land, usually the forest forming the hunting land. The government also encouraged settlers and soldiers to kill thousands of buffalo. They knew buffaloes were an important part of native people's diet and way of life in the, on the plains. Lack of food work was common in、uh, on the reservations. Illnesses spread quickly through the crowded communities. Many native people resist being forced onto reservations. Black soldiers were sent to the west to fight them. Black soldiers were also sent to protect white settlers, because the West were, was too、uh, so vast. It was hard to enforce 
last as more white settlers arrived. The thieves stole cattle and horses. They also robbed banks and stagecoaches that brought important supplies and mail. Black soldiers were sent to protect settlers and stagecoaches from these thieves, gaining a reputation. Black soldiers were given the most dangerous duties. They traveled many miles to find water, build roads, and map lands explored by white settlers. They experienced hot summers and freezing cold winters. They also given old horses and poor supplies. They also expired deadly violence from the white settlers they were sent to protect. Still, the troops did their duties well. They were known as be hardworking and talented. It was the native people they fought, possibly the Chenin, who gave them the name Buffalo Soldiers. Many people believe the soldiers were given the name because they were brave in battle, like the buffalo. There is no proof to support this, though, and many native leaders today don't agree with this belief. Later Survives Buffalo soldiers served in the West throughout the wars between the army and native peoples. As war in the West came to an end, uh, many black soldiers were sent to fight in the Spanish American War in 1899, uh, 1898. Between 1970 and 1900, 23 Buffalo soldiers earned medals of honor. The Medal of Honor is the highest award a U.S. soldier can earn. After the war, many Buffalo soldiers went to California to work as National Park Rangers. They oversaw the building of roads and trails, fought forest fires, and stopped people from hunting animals. Buffalo soldiers on bikes. In the 1890s, the army wanted to see if bicycles could replace horses since bikes were cheaper and easier to care for. The Buffalo Soldiers rode 1,900 miles from Missoula, Montana to St. Louis, Missouri. They crossed mountains, rivers, shifting sand hills and still traveled about 50 miles a day. Before long, though, bikes were replaced with motorcycles. Discrimination continues. In spite of the many successes of the Buffalo Soldiers, black soldiers continue to suffer discrimination. In 1906, white people in a small Texas town accused Buffalo Soldiers of killing one white man and hurting another. There was no proof that they didn't eat, but 167 black soldiers were forced to leave the army anyway. In 1972, the soldiers were finally found in, uh, innocent of the crime. During World War I, black soldiers weren't allowed to fight beside white U.S. soldiers in, in Europe. Instead, they were placed under the command of the French army. By the time the US, uh, United States entered the World War II in 1941, the re regiments known as the Buffalo Soldiers have been uh, reorganized. The army broke up the last all back regiments in regiments in 1951. The troops joined white regiments where they continued to face racism. Notable Buffalo Soldiers L.T. Harry O. Puffer was the first black graduated of the U.S. Military <coughs> Academy at West Point. He was the black officer to command black soldiers. L.T. John Hanks Alexander became commander of the 9th Cavalry Cal in 1997. At the time, he was the only black officer in the army commissioned to lead troops on combat. <coughs> C.O.L. Charles Young was a commanding officer of the 9th Salivary, a cavalry. In 1903, she became the first black National Park superintendent. 
The Legacy of the Buffalo, so Buffalo Soldiers Black soldiers have fought in every important war in American history. However, the Buffalo Soldiers of the 9th and 10th Cleveries and perhaps the best known. People have written books, movies, television shows, and even songs about them. People have also built museums and memorials in their honor. Also, they experienced discrimination from within and outside the army. Buffalo soldiers were the least likely soldiers to desert their regiments and showed bravery in the face of fierce combat, deadly violence, and different and difficult living conditions. Their survival is an important part of the United States history.